Welcome back to Metal Rules for the Underground Meets the Playground. I'm Johnny Polini. I'm Jeff Rappaport. And I'm Matt Gillins. Who's Mike? The Afterthought. I said that. Yeah. Oh, you said Mike. Yeah. Okay. We don't have mics. We should get somebody named Mike on the show now. I think so. Have we ever had a mic on the show? It's That's probably we ever had. One of you guys from Noose, isn't it? Well, yeah, that's right. A Mike is like the, one of the most common names. Yeah. We ever had a lot. You had to. And Ike is not, though. I really like, I like those candies. Yes, they're good. They last Which one do you like better? Um, there was like a cherry one. It was like cherry-centric. They're very good. And good and plenty, which are basically the same candies, but they're like licorice. Yeah. They're made by the same maker. Well, I don't like the, the regular, shape. the straight-up licorice good and plenty. They're kind of gross. I like oh, you don't the, like good and plenty? The fruit ones are good, yeah. You, ever, you don't like the good and plenty? It's a good old classic thing. I like the fruit good and plenties, but not the ones that are just straight up licorice. Then they're Mike and Ike's. Mm -hmm. Whatever, dude. I stand, by my, I stand by my statement. That's lame. Fuck you, original good and plenty. <laughs> Eat my balls. I love good and plenty. It's like they're like... Charlie says, really? <laughs> they're okay. But I like Mike We had a guy named Charlie on the show. Yeah, we got a Charlie. Charlie. From who? He was a nice dude. Seek trust. Nice guy. He was good they, were, they were nice guys. Way good. Charlie. So in the news... Uh, Galactic Cowboys are going to have their 25th anniversary. I, you know, I like Steve Stevens, but that wasn't my favorite project of his. When they did that album, you know, Galactic Cowboys, we are Radiation Romeo. What was that, the Atomic Playboys? Atomic Playboys, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That was really lame. That's right, I, remember, I remember that. I, I knew what it was, though. Yeah, you pay, I'm glad <laughs> you forget that. Because okay. Steve Stevens is great. Remember yes, he, he when he played the Vince Neil so. People could, like give a hard time. I loved the Vince Neil's the first solo album was great. People said it was cheesy. Was it, no, that was the second one. Exposed. Exposed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. It was jamming. It had, like Vince Neil and Steve Stevens' the guitar it was fucking great. How come nobody didn't like that record? Or like the people, the posers, people said cheesy. Cheesy. I don't like that. Too many crew fans. Yeah. I thought it was way better than anything that the crew did after without John Carabi. Yeah. 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 David. Uh, that was a joke. The drummer David! Yeah? The dog has the eBay stuff in his mouth again. You're not paying attention to him. So what did you do is Galactic Cowboys are the 25th anniversary. Yes, yeah, cool. I wrote, uh, they always seem to play second fiddle to King's X. Yeah. But, uh, they, they were, uh, but I could see why. Not that they're second, that they're not a good band. I would check the camera. Dave, the camera, please? Oh. <laughs> they're, they're, uh, they're similar in format, sort of, to King's. They were yes. both, they're both on Metal Blade. Mm -hmm. They both came out around the same time. They were releasing albums around the same time. They didn't both have a black dude with a mohawk in them. Yeah. No. They both toured a lot together, right? right? Like and they both had strong... Uh, they were both Christian bands, mm -hmm. and they both had strong Beatles influences. Yeah. Yeah, and also, both are bands that I didn't really get into at the time, but like, now I appreciate more. I, I enjoyed yeah. them. I enjoyed them then and now. I was I was really prejudiced back then. I, uh, <laughs> I just you know I didn't really they weren't on my right. radar. What King's X too? Now, at the time now, like, everybody made fun of King's X like in my school. Why? Just well, did. I always your school's it. stupid. I, I was supposed to go to your school, but I did. Paul, you glad you didn't. Yeah, because yeah, they hate King's X there. No, I'm actually I always like King's X. Did they like Glass Cowboys in your school? Yeah. I don't know how many people knew who they were. Like, you, you know, should wear a Galactic Cowboys shirt. Just to say, hey, what do you think of this? this you should wear that to your 20 year reunion. Yeah, I was going to say, my 20 year reunion is right around the corner. You so. should wear a Galactic Cowboys shirt and just I say, be like, what, pussy? What, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? Did you graduate in 93? Yeah. Me too. Wow, wow. Just Me too. Just now, if I didn't go to Triton, <laughs> I went to all about we would have graduated. So, yeah, yeah, that'd be crazy. Holy crap, man. We went to Triton. We could have used it. There was not a, the, it was a very lean I head contingent in my grade. I stayed in Triton because they had all the mechanics. Because all my friends were there. At my time, Are I you a mechanic? I w not no more. But I was back back in the day. Yeah. Nice. Why yeah. do you do that? That's good money, isn't it? Well, I got into computers and I've been doing that for like 15 years. You like that better? Oh yeah. Yeah. You don't get dirty either. No, we're still working on a piece of machinery. Right? Yeah. So that's cool. Wasn't being a mechanic kind of fun? I liked it until I got into a dealership, and then I didn't like it. Anymore. What didn't you like about it? Machine Pretty room. much, um, everybody was kung fu fight, alcoholics, divorce, or ball before forty. I got the ball before forty part. Right. Down, but you know. Well, they got miserable for working yeah. in a dealership. Yeah, and catching it stressful. Why was it stressful? Just working on cars nowadays, man. 
Oh, well, yeah, actually, they got a lot harder because all the computers and stuff. Yeah, and all the emissions. A lot of computer parts. Yeah. yeah. It's bullshit. You got you got to be a computer. You got to actually be a computer uh, right. specialist to be a car mechanic. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's true. And now I kind of now I'm in IT, and I could maybe someday find a job to combine both. You know, but Interesting. That's actually when I got into IT, I started working for Children's Hospital in Philadelphia. Oh, nice. That's why I came up with the name Chopcourt. Oh wow! Did you, did you ever hear that one? No, I never told. No, you I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, they were thinking, we were all thinking of a band name, and they thought of the name Core, and I was just like, oh, there's so many it's, bands yeah, called so Core. Right. So I'm sitting there. Maybe we call it Metal. Like, right, yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> so I'm sitting there staring at my um, my chop screensaver mm -hmm. flashing. What, like, what about Children's Hospital? Hospital? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's Chop. Children's yeah. Hospital. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm like, well, what about Chop Cord? It's a cool sound word. Interesting. And they all like it. Right? And it's got a lot to do with like, It's funny because every time I hear <laughs> Chop, I think of Chop Cord. Right. Yeah. I, uh, I, I think of a Chop Salad. <laughs> chop Steak. <laughs> I, I, I had a thoughts and helped out with more the name Mortal Decay, too. Pretty much we were called Macabre then. And yeah, there was yeah. No macabre, so we all went home and we made a list of cool band names. Right. And me and the drummer Anthony had the same name, Mortal yeah. Decay, on that list when we came back. Oh, nice. Right. Cool. Two people yeah. came up with Mortal Decay? Yeah. Yeah. Who, so. of course, he did go to my school, but it was like two years old. Right, yeah. yeah. He picked on that. No, he didn't. Yeah. yeah, he barely knew who I was. How can anybody not know who you are? I was very yeah. yeah. indescript. You're the guy wearing the Glock the Cowboy shirt. Yeah. You're younger, dude. I thought you were like. Oh, I come off that way. I, I still get cards. Like, I, I get, that's good. I give off that vibe. Yeah. But that's cool, though. 25th reunion. So, yeah, you guys, would you want to go see them? It's pretty cool. Uh, I made a note. You'll enjoy this. Okay. Um, like I said earlier, I wish I had people who were attention to the back of their head. It's good stuff. Well, um, to me, they're kind of like what Dream Theater would sound like if they kicked the ass. <laughs> Stay with me, Jeff. I mean, if they were actually good, oh, like yeah. I mean, I I, I like them. That, that's the day. They're kind of experimental and proggy, but they like kicking. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of melody, and then you know, the, they were good. I enjoyed yeah. them. I would like to go check this out. Absolutely. So uh, good, good on you, Galactic yeah. Cowboys. Congratulations, happy twenty fifth. You are Radiation Romeos. Yep. Drop it. And uh, let's see if Stevens come back. All right. Yeah. Need another Steve's Tommy Playboy.